Liz Truss lands in the United States to recreate a special bond on her first trip abroad as Prime Minister. Liz Truss has arrived in the U.S. and is set to meet U.S. President Joe Biden on her first overseas visit as British Prime Minister. Relations between the two leaders are already strained by her threats as Foreign Secretary to scrap post-Brexit trade deals in Northern Ireland. Biden has expressed concern that peace in the state should not be undermined by Britain's Brexit issue, which is why she is reluctant to sign a free trade deal with Britain. However, it is highly likely that the two countries will find common ground in taking a hard line against Russia over an invasion of Ukraine and sharing a hawkish stance on China. Truss used her visit to the United Nations General Assembly in New York to underscore Britain's long-term commitment to Ukraine and its people, pledging at least her £2.3 billion in military aid next year. Increase. In recent days Ukraine has made significant military gains against Russia and the eastern regions of the country have been liberated from its forces. The UK is expected to provide the country with more equipment such as B the multiple launch missile system that recently helped Ukraine reclaim more than 3,000 square kilometers, 1,200 square miles, of her land. It is already her second largest military donor to Ukraine after the United States, and in 2022, she will provide 2.3 billion pounds, hundreds of missiles and her five air defense systems, I plan to train the army. Ahead of the trip, Truss said, Time and again, these brave people have stood up to the skeptical and shown what they can do when given the necessary military, economic and political support. My message to the people of Ukraine is that the UK will be behind you every step of the way. Your security is our security. Tell other leaders to end Putin's economic blackmail by eliminating the energy dependence of, earlier this month, Russia shut down the Nord Stream pipeline again, further fueling energy prices due to supply restrictions. At, Truss says, Russia's dependence on energy is manipulating too many lives in Ukraine, Europe and around the world. Their most important bilateral meeting, which will define the special relationship over the next two years, is that, with Biden after a scheduled Downing Street meeting was postponed to Wednesday at the United Nations. Tensions already exist over Brexit between the two leaders inherited from Boris Johnson's government, amid signs that negotiations between the UK and the EU are slowing in the long run. Both sides are said to be hoping to improve relations. Conflict. Labor, meanwhile, said Truss was cold mouthed by Biden after scheduled talks didn't take place ahead of the Queen's funeral. Shadow Foreign Minister David Lammy said we should get Britain out of the cold and start rebuilding our diplomatic influence. He wrote that for 12 years the Conservative government has made diplomatic gaffes, announced plans to break international law, failed to deliver on climate protection promises, and cut off international aid. It has damaged and isolated Britain from the rest of the world. Lammy added that Truss needs an urgent wake-up call to the damage her ruthless approach to foreign policy is doing to Britain's national interests, adding that the Labour government would stand up to the lawless strike protocol and back to the table with the EU to restore UK's 0.7% aid target, we hope to resume negotiations with the EU within a few weeks. During her two-day trip to New York, Truss will host a series of bilateral meetings with other leaders, including European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and French President Emmanuel Macron. It will be the first official meeting between the two since Mr. Truss commented in the Tory race for the lead that President Emmanuel Macron had the jury out on friend or foe. She is scheduled to address the United Nations in person in her speech on Wednesday, and British officials privately believe she will get a better response than Boris Johnson, despite her sometimes lofty speech. Truss is putting the finishing touches on her small budget, which is expected to see social security cuts when she returns to British soil on Thursday. An analysis by the FS found that the move would allow the lowest paid workers to earn just 63p a month, while the richest workers could set back £150 a month.